So discussing fall soil stimulant here and how we're building, how we're really starting in the fall when most people are usually thinking about this is the end and we'll start in the spring. Ryan, as we were discussing that, you mentioned that there was something unique that happens in the fall. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah. So as we add a fall soil primer and we get those microbes stimulated and the bacteria and the fungi working together and breaking down those crop residues, a big part of what they do going into winter time is perform aggregation in the soil. And aggregation, as we know, it's part of where we build our soil bank and our nutritional bank for the spring and into our summer season with our crop. So um, it's super important that we just, you know, stimulate those microbes so that we get the aggregation that we want and so that we can store up those nutrients for the coming season and the coming crop that we're gonna see. Um, it just allows us to, you know, not have to come in with a foliar as much and allows us to use what's already there in the soil and allow it to build on itself over years and years and years of repetition. So it's almost so, like it's designed to prepare for infiltration, huh? Yes, absolutely. And so as we come into the moisture season of the winter gathering the snow and we get into that spring season of just being super wet here in the Pacific Northwest, it allows the you know, soil to uphold and take in as much moisture as possible instead of having constant runoff and, you know, washing away of our nutrients and other things like that, so. So for someone who's maybe not as familiar, what is aggregation? Aggregation is where the soil somewhat clumps up and instead of just being like flour, dry flour, it kind of makes, almost forms a cottage cheese, huh? cottage cheese or compaction around a little a small like ball of soil almost like dirt clods or whatever you want to call it so, so it's really important probably to have for the microbes etc to have a supply of food stuff to produce that glomulin that, that helps to make it sticky yeah yeah, absolutely. The glomalin that the fungi and the bacterial produce is part of what helps stick all that together and helps stick those soil particles together, which make for, you know, holding those nutrients in, but also make for a great home for those microbes to hibernate over winter time and just so that they're available and so that the spores and the other things that come from the fungi, you know, are stuck in there. And as soon as spring hits and that moisture hits, then they just start to reproduce and populate all over our fields so that, you know, we get good bio biological performance as well as production and our numbers are high. Because if we have good biology and we feed that biology and there's food out there already, then we're gonna have a great crop coming this season. That's great, thanks Ryan.